So today we have a STEM rock mineral and fossil activity kit. So this could be great for the kids. It has over 200 genuine specimen or adults. If there's something you want to look at inside of it, it comes with a magnifying glass, a bunch of activity sheets. So I'll kind of walk you through this and show you what comes inside essentially. So it does have right away a nice poster that you can put up. That's just talking about some of the bigger pieces and littler pieces that are inside. So they'll be able to investigate and they can also match and put on the poster if they want to keep it here and kind of identify um, what they find inside. So everything from polished stones um, to pyrite, which is fool's gold, if I remember right. There's a sand tiger shark tooth on Otis, uh, Otis, Otis shark tooth, I think. And then also a desert rose, which I like the look of that. There's also a clam fossil and then uh, an ammonite ammonite uh, fossil right here. So lots of different fossils. I think there's four fossils total. And then you do have a learning guide. So it's gonna kind of walk you through uh, some of the stuff inside, you know, a little bit more detail on it anyways, where it's from, uh, what you can look at with it, right? What you're looking for uh, and stuff like that. And then you have like a little postcard thing. Now you also have this little carrying satchel. So if there's something you wanna bring, you know, maybe your kids wanna bring and show their friends or bring to school, they're able to put it inside, zip it up. And it's a nice protected, almost leather carrying case. So nice little, uh, uh, nice little addition there. You also get this, so this is the first pack here. This is some bigger stones. So they're not quite as polished, right? These are kind of like the raw stones. You have a few different pieces in here that are really cool. I'm actually, I love the, this is the desert rose. Really cool piece right there. So there's a lot of different size stones, gemstones and stuff like that with really cool textures and really cool looks. So they'll really be able to check those out. Those are some of the bigger stones. Now, I'm a huge fan of these little polished stones. I think these are great to not only identify, but also to use for um, artwork and stuff like that. So if there's something they wanna use them for, they come already polished. You can kind of see how they look right there on the table, right? Nice and shiny. I would say there's over probably 150 in there would be my guess. And you can see all these different, see there's some pink there, that's rose quartz. So you can kind of have a good look at it, right? This would be quart point. So lots of cool little polished stones that they're able to kind of take out, um, play around with and identify. Uh, and you do actually also have a magnifying glass. So they're able to kind of zoom in on it, take a look at it a little bit, look at the ridges, look at the different points, um, the different portions of it. So really cool added accessory right there uh, with the magnifying glass makes for a, a little better experience while they're trying to identify everything. Cause these ones are so small too. Um, now my favorite parts, uh, the fossils, the fossils are really cool. They come in this little uh, container. It did have some foam on top. I took it off, but you have all four of your fossils here. So this is a clam. It looks like, okay. You have your ammonites. I think I pronounced that right. So there's the fossil, genuine fossil, and then your two shark teeth from two different sharks, right? So you have your sand tiger shark and your Otis shark. So you can take a look at those teeth there and you can keep them in this case or you can take them out. Totally up to you what they wanna do with it. Now the last two parts that come with it are these giant stones, one of which is already cracked open and it's just kind of like, uh, almost like some amethyst crystal kind of stuff, different kind, but. Another one's I think you could actually crack them open and they might have something inside. I think those are what those are for. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. And then you, of course, have some bigger polished rocks as well. So you have some larger polished stones that you can take out and identify again and kind of match them up with the smaller ones if you want.